I forced my bad neighbors into an unwanted move. I got my very first apartment at the ripe age of 26. I was fortunate enough to be able to afford one without roommates. I was a model tenant paid my rent on time every month, polite to the office workers, never caused trouble. I lived on the top floor of a three-story building. Well, two years after I moved in, I had new neighbors move into the apartment below me. I was working a swing shift so my hours were 3 p.m. 11 p.m., and I often stayed up late to 3 a.m. to do minor chores dishes, cooking, cleaning but not vacuuming. I also had two cats at the time. My new neighbors immediately went on the war path against me. I could not make any noise without them banging on my floor. I unloaded my dishwasher at 11 a.m. on a Sunday and they flipped out. They complained to the office about my herd of animals. They sent police to my door at 9 p.m. because I was watching TV at a reasonable volume with the subtitles on. I literally could not make any sound without them complaining. It culminated in one of them pounding on my door for 10 minutes after I dared call the office to express my frustration. So I called the office back. Told them that I did not feel safe in my apartment due to my neighbor's actions legal grounds for me to break my lease. But then I dropped my bombshell. My neighbors had four people in a one-bedroom apartment that had a two-person max capacity. Apartment management told my neighbors they had to move into a more expensive two-bedroom apartment or their lease would be terminated. They moved to the larger apartment on the other side of the complex. My new neighbors were great. Two adult men who smoked weed on the balcony. Never even spoke to them. Loved them. Stupid people, don't they realize they should move around under the radar if they are breaking rules, lol. The weed guys know what's up. If they cause no trouble other than occasional weed smell on the balcony you're less likely to complain about the balcony. I was like that with Mexican neighbors. They threw massive 150 people parties that got as loud as you'd expect. I'd wake up to a beer on the porch at minimum for not calling cops. I once worked with a guy for three years and never learned his name. Best friend I ever had. We still never talk sometimes. Ron Swanson. Like a good neighbor. Stay over there. The best neighbors are the ones you don't have any interaction with. That means you don't bother each other. My relationship with my neighbors is fantastic. We wave once in a while. I am in a similar, albeit much less intense situation with my neighbor right now. He sent me a note saying I was too loud, but I don't really make noise. I listen to podcasts, talk with my friends on the phone, and sometimes put music on through my phone without a speaker and he said I was being too loud. This is all at normal times of day. Meet my one neighbor after two years only cause we both went out on our balconies at 2 a.m. one Saturday night after a drive-by at the bar across the street. We continued to say hi till she moved like three years later. Never even spoke to them. Loved them. This is the best relationship to have with neighbors. Lived on the second story of a two-story complex for years. No complaints from any neighbors, my roommate and I were introverted gamers so we just sat in our rooms and played hours of WoW when home. New couple moves in downstairs and we suddenly get a notice a week about noise issues. I ask my roommate if he changed any habits, nope. Cool thing was, since we had been there so long, after the 6 8 complaint, the management stopped bothering us and moved them to a new unit in a different building. Apartment complexes can be a really shit experience but the management there were good people. When I was 18, I moved into my first place, an old house that had been converted to four tiny apartments. We had a nightmare neighbor under us who would slam her door over and over and over if she heard the slightest noise from us. I once opened the freezer, a package of frozen chicken fell out, and she slammed the door for 10 straight minutes. People like this drive me insane. People in glass houses shouldn't throw stones. 
my new neighbors were great. Two adult men who smoked weed on the balcony. Never even spoke to them. Loved them. The less I know about other people's affairs, the happier I am. I'm not interested in caring about people. I once worked with a guy for three years and never learned his name. Best friend I ever had. We still never talk sometimes. Ron Swanson. Sounds like thin ceilings and floors. I don't know why some apartments are built this way. My upstairs neighbors had a child that would run up and down the hallway. It sounded like a herd of elephants and when I tapped the ceiling with my broom, it sounded like thunder. I realized it was because the apartments were poorly constructed. I forced myself to move. My favorite neighbor is my handyman. He lives on the other side of the complex. We've had quite a few issues with our apartment so we've built a relationship. We do light small talk when we see each other. He is a very nice man. I have never met the neighbors directly around me. Been here two years and plan to keep it this way. I never said a word to the guy for three years. He was my best friend. Ron Swanson. For the first time in my life I own two cats. Actually about 9 and 11 months old. Can. Definitely confirm they sound like a herd of animals running through my house. We live in a single family house, so the only one they bother is me. LOL, we don't have carpet so it echoes. Our cats run at night, so we lock them out of the bedroom. They would run all over us in bed we could not live with our babies, in an upstairs apartment. Thank goodness the rude neighbors got busted. There he is breaking capacity rules, and got the gall to complain to anyone else about noise. He brought this on themselves. If they were going to exceed the max number of people allowed on their lease, then maybe they should, I don't know, not harass people and draw negative attention to themselves. They fooled around and they found out. I love my neighbors right now. All of us on the floor are students and everyone is loud to some extent, so we just cohabit in this I make noises so you can make noises too environment. Sometimes we have the more talkative ones who go out for a smoke, at the same time that we do, and say hi. It's always the hi in the building. My new neighbors were great. Never even spoke to them. This. This is the random passerby asked on TV how they couldn't see they lived right next to a serial killer. I love the last couple of lines, always the best kind of neighbors. When I lived in the apartment we had great neighbors. There wasn't a week that would go by between spring and fall that we didn't chill with each other and drink beer on one of our three balconies. Good fences make good neighbors. Robert Frost. Some of the best neighbors are the ones you never have to talk to. Never even spoke to them. Love them sounds like some great neighbors. Personally, housework being done at night by my neighbors above me would probably do me in. I'd think a totally inconsiderate person. But I don't do that, so cannot imagine sleeping where my neighbors would be doing house chores at midnight. Best friend I ever had. We still never talk sometimes. Never even spoke to them. Loved them. Best neighbors. Fafo. I do hope you went out on your balcony did some deep breathing exercises. I am by no means defending the asshole neighbors, but to be fair. I used to live under a couple who were two cats and when they sprinted across the floor it sounded like little kids running in work boots. But I never complained. We were on friendly neighbor terms. I could hear their TV sometimes, too. Bonus story my roommate had the bedroom under theirs 2BD, 2BA, and could hear them fucking every so often. This is why I'll never live in a building with neighbors.